G'day again guys and thank you for joining me. Oh my goodness, this piece took forever. I started this drawing at the very beginning of November and it is now midway through December. That's nearly six weeks with this piece on the easel teasing me every time I walked past the studio. Now, I intended to spend some time on this piece. I knew I wanted to create a drawing with a lot of details, but I never intended for it to take six weeks. What on earth happened? Well, unfortunately, life just seemed to get in the way. Over the past few years, spending time nearly every day working on some piece of art has really been a driving force in my life. It's been my entertainment. I don't really watch TV or get to read books or play video games anymore. And doing tasks around the house, like doing the dishes and mowing the lawn, oh, no, no, art comes way before that. But the last six weeks of my life have been so chaotic and so full that I just haven't had a chance to sit down at the desk at all. Oh, it's been driving me crazy. Now, this piece started like any other. I had my line drawing down and I got ready to start. I started with the eyes as I usually do and I got some really good work done on the head in one sitting. It was a really good sitting and I was feeling really good about this piece. And then everything just went to hell. Um, Australia is currently experiencing some really major bushfires. Drought and the summer heat have made conditions pretty horrible across the entire East Coast and unfortunately we got caught up in some of that. I was away from home when we got the orders to evacuate the house, um, but luckily my adult children were home to pack up the important things like documents and pets and they did their very best to pack up my studio in literally no time and get out to safety. Now, we spent two days out of the home and we did get to come home to our place safe and sound, except for a light layer of dust and ash all over everything. We got out of this really lucky. A lot of other people have not and I'm very thankful for that. But when we did get home, we spent a good solid week on high alert, hoping that nothing would flare back up again and my studio stayed all packed up and completely out of use for that time. This poor little Rosella just had to wait. Finally, I got a chance to keep working on this bird. Now, if you'd like to see how I created the back feathers of this bird in real time, then you can check out my live stream of this section. Um, I'll link it down below so you can see how I layered the pencils to create the pattern on his feathers. I got a lot of progress done in this two hour sitting and then bang, life got in the way again. So a couple of months ago, I made a video telling you guys about how I'd lost my job and trying to decide whether or not to pursue art as a money making venture or not. Well, I decided I'd rather keep a normal job and keep the pressure off trying to make art for the sake of making money. But going back into retail, oh no, I've done enough of that in my life for now. So I decided to go and do some training and move into aged care as a career. Now, this course that I did was intensive. It is designed to be done over 12 months, but our group did it in eight weeks. Uh, between the classroom and homework and placement hours, I literally had no time to spare. I kept telling myself that I would get a little bit done each afternoon, but as that afternoon rolled around, I would be completely zonked. I had no interest of doing anything with my brain at all in the afternoons. But each time I looked at this half-completed bird, I would feel incredibly guilty for not doing it. At one point, I did consider putting it away out of sight, but I know myself pretty well, and I knew that that would be the absolute end of this piece. I would never get around to finishing it if I did that. So I did something especially horrible to myself. I made myself get up extra early to be able to get something done on this piece each day. Alarm set for 3.45 each morning, just so I could squeeze in a few feathers at a time before my brain turned to mush in the afternoon. It was horrible. I'm not a morning person. This wasn't a pleasant experience, but little by little by little, the bird finally started to come together. It was a little bit tricky to work this way. Each morning, bleary-eyed and half asleep, I did struggle to get into the rhythm of completing the work. I don't like starting drawing each day. Even after all of this time, I still find myself having doubts whether I can actually get this work done. Will I remember how I was layering those colours? Will I remember what colours I was even using? Is today the day I finally forget how to art? It's a silly little self-torture, but it usually doesn't take long to settle down and get into the flow and stop worrying about how I'm going to complete a piece. 
But with all the stopping and starting this time, I found it really hard to find that happy and relaxed place. But nonetheless, it did take forever. But finally, after five weeks, I had a completed Rosella on my piece of paper and I was so glad to see in there. I mean, this is a piece that I have wanted to do for a very, very long time. I see these pale first rosellas around my home reasonably often, uh, usually just hiding in a bush in amongst the banksias or something. They're so fast, I never get a chance to actually pull out my camera and get a good photo. <sighs> it's such a shame. But when I did see this photo on Pixabay of a pale faced rosella that was posed so beautifully, I was so excited to create this piece. I had that grevillea flower from my own garden. I knew exactly how I was going to pose this guy. And even though this piece took forever and I didn't really have as much fun with it as I normally would, oh, I was so glad to finally see him there. With the bird finally in place and my course completed and passed, it was a sprint to the finish line. I could see the light at the end of the tunnel and I had time to do something. Now, I knew this grevillea was going to be tricky, so I buckled in and I got drawing. I started with the leaves. Now, I did make a few changes from my reference photo. Uh, I had to put in a few extra branches and leaves so the bird's footing would actually make sense. And I did accidentally smudge some of my pigmented odorless mineral spirits on my beautiful white page so I had to add in a little bit of a strategic leaf to cover up that sin um, but the biggest change I made was where I had to um, cover up a pretty big mistake when drawing the toes of the rosella I had somehow put that foot like the toe was on the wrong side um, I tried to fix it with shading but I'd gone too dark so I got a bit sneaky and I added some darker shadows and some extra leaves to cover up that horribly deformed foot now he's still not perfect but just don't tell anyone I stuffed up nobody usually notices that stuff unless you point it out Finally, it was time to draw the flower. I was really dreading this part. Grevillea flowers are really complicated and I didn't know how to approach it at all. For my line work, I just kind of approximated the size and shape of each feature because I knew that I would get very lost in a complicated line drawing. Um, and I just started from the top. I zoomed in really, really close to my reference photo and I spent a long time looking at each tiny section of the flower, trying to understand what attached to what and which features were the most important. I wanted to make this a reasonably detailed drawing, but this isn't a botanical drawing by any standards and I didn't want to include every tiny little feature. Once I had done a few sections, I did I start to understand that flower a little bit better and I started to find it a little bit easier to see the details as I went forward. The grevillea slowly came together and as I finished this piece, finally, after nearly six weeks, I was ready to call this piece done. So here's the final piece. Life sometimes does get in the way and sometimes there just isn't enough time in the day to create even if you really want to. I sacrificed a lot of sleep and sanity on this piece, but looking at it now, I'm really glad I persevered because I'm really happy with the end result. I would just like to take a moment to thank my patrons. Now, there will be an hour or so of real-time video of this drawing up on Patreon for you guys really soon. Um, I'm also working on a new beginner's tutorial and you guys will be the first to see how that one comes together, so I'm really excited about that and I hope you'll join me. For now, I hope you've enjoyed this. Now, this piece is going to be listed for sale, both the original and as prints, so I'll pop a link down in the description if you're interested. I hope you'll leave me a like or a comment to tell me what you think, and if you'd like to see some more of my work, then why not hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, guys.